Hey, what's up guys? This is Hashim and today I'm going to show you how you can directly store your form responses right inside of Notion. Now I know, when it comes to forms, most of us directly think of Google Forms. But to be honest, Google Forms is decades behind in terms of integration with other softwares and it just doesn't look right. So recently I discovered a form site called Tally.so and I have to say it is way better than Google Forms both aesthetically and practically. So this is the main dashboard of Tally once you log in, which you can easily do by using your email. Clicking this new form button right here creates a new form. So if you notice, Tally is exactly like Notion. Here you can see you have a space for your title. You can use a template just like Notion or you can just start from scratch. So what we'll be creating here is a customer review form in order to collect customer responses. So I basically create Notion templates and I want to know how the customers feel about the template once they have purchased it from me. So for that we need customer's name, email, we need to know which template they bought and we also need to know uh, what rating they give that, that template. So here you can see we can add a logo just like Notion, we can also add a cover image exactly like Notion, giving it a Notion-like vibe. So let's go ahead and add our title. So now as you can see this is like these blocks here are uh, like exactly like in Notion so if we hit forward slash we, there is a command center that opens up and we can use any of these properties to add here. Because we'll, we want to collect their name we are going to add this short answer property here and here as you can see we can add a title we can add a label so we are going to add a title for this name. Next up, we want to collect their email. So let's go ahead and hit this forward slash and search for email. Yep, here we go. Add a title, email. Now that we have our two main properties selected, let's go ahead and add a new property, which is a drop down menu. So we want to know which template our customer bought from us. So let's go ahead and add a drop down property here, insert. So here you can see, let's add a title. And let's go ahead and add our options. So as you can see, we have added several options you can add as many options as you want hitting this um, hitting this preview button right here shows us how our form appears so as you can see we have added we have successfully added a drop down menu right here so let's go back to our editor next we will need to know uh, their ratings so for that if we search ratings here inside this properties command center we can find this rating section here right here just click insert, add a title. And you can see we have added a ratings column as well. Next, we want to know what they think of our template. So we need to have like a short answer, a short answer space to uh, for our customers to leave their thoughts on the template. So let's go ahead and add Let's go ahead and add a long answer property. And now we also want to know what improvements that we can make on, on, uh, on the template based on, uh, on the suggestions from our customers. So now basically our customer review form is essentially complete. So here you can also select the design of the form so you can select dark mode light mode and you can also go for custom mode which offers way too much like which offers way too much customization options uh, compared to google forms so let's go ahead and uh, select this dark mode here let's preview our form customer review form name email which template you bought from us what do you think of our template which improvements would you like to be made so this is basically our template made, ready to be published to the world. So let's go ahead and hit publish. So now that our template is published, we'll be given a unique link, which we can copy and send to our customers where they can easily 
um, where they can easily submit their responses. Let's go ahead and check the link out. So as you can see, this is just one single page. They can submit their information, email, etc. Now let's head over to the fun part, the integration. So here in this page, we can simply head over to integrations column right here. And here you can see tons of integration that Tally supports. So these are all of the integration that Tally supports. Some of the integrations are external integrations, which you can easily connect by using a Zapier software. And because we are going to connect it directly to our Notion, so we do not need to go through Zapier, we can just directly go ahead and connect to our Notion databases. Before we connect into uh, connect it to our Notion database, we need to create that particular database inside of Notion. So let's head over to Notion and create a, uh, create a database that we can connect to our phone. So here inside of Notion, I will go ahead and click on this new button right here, create a new database, customer response. And we'll add a table. So this is the database that we'll be creating. And what we need to do is we need to match our properties inside this database with our properties inside of our form. So if we go ahead inside our form, we will see, uh, if we go ahead and add it, we'll see that we have a name property, email property, uh, a ratings property, and so on. So, uh, and so on. So once we go into uh, integrations, click connect, and here you can see that we need to map our properties together. So the name will be a text property. So we'll leave this just empty. We'll delete this tags property inside Notion database. And what else we want? We also want to add an email property, which is an email property inside of Notion. So we'll just go ahead and add an email property. Next, we want to add uh, which template you bought from us. So this is a select property. So let's go ahead and add a select property. Next we have um, a ratings, which is a number property. So it will be out of five. Next we have, um, what do you think of our template? And we also have what improvements you like. So these are two text properties. So let's go ahead and add them. So now that we have our properties inside Notion match to our form, we will go ahead and connect the database. So in order to connect the database, we will simply go into uh, our Notion page and click this inside the database page and click this three dots icon here. And here you will see this connection option right here. We want to connect it to Tally. So as you can see, Tally Forms is already available here. So we will just go ahead and connect it to Tally Forms. Now as you can see, it is connected to the Tally Forms. Now going back to our um, Tally connection page here, we have already mapped our properties. We will select the database now. So here you can see um, the database that we want to connect our form to. We'll just click refresh and here, yeah, customer response database. So we want to make sure that the name of the database is same. So customer response database. So we'll just click on this. Now our data, our form is connected to our database. We'll just map the properties, name, name, email, email, select property, number property, what do we think about our templates and the improvements property and just click on this connect with notion button. So now inside the form, you will see it is connected to our notion database. Let's go ahead and test it out. So we'll just go ahead and test our form out. Click on this copy link, open the form, submit a response. So this is just a short response and let's go ahead and click on submit. 
not of the responses submitted. Let's see if it appears in our, inside our Notion database. Oh yes, as you can see, it quickly automatically appears inside our Notion database right here. The name, the email, uh, the select property automatically fills up the rating. So this is essentially a rating, right? Uh, and what do they think of our template and the improvements? So these are text property. And as you can see, we can submit infinite responses and it automatically comes into our Notion database. And from here, we can further manipulate the data and we can see how many of our customer uh, of our responses gave us a five star rating, how many of our customers gave us uh, uh, like which which is the most uh, selected template here and uh, what improvements do they do our customers uh, need. So this is just one way to manipulate the data of your responses, which you don't have the ability to do in Google Forms. You can also see that we can connect our um, tally forms to our Google Sheets, which just which which is essentially an Excel sheet. So there you can make graphs, you can you can make bar graphs, you can make pie charts, and do a ton of stuff that you could not do with Google Forms um, previously. So this is just a tiny bit of what Tally can do. And just to make it clear, all this is on the free version. You can connect forms to Notion, Airtable, Google Sheet, and many other softwares all for free. And if you want to connect things like custom domains, you can easily upgrade for a minimum fee. Now I'm also using Tally to receive template submission on my website. I easily embedded the form into the website and it is running flawlessly. Well, that's it for now. You can go ahead and check out tally.so from the link in the description and see you guys in the next one. Cheers.